Hi everyone, this is your 320 coronavirus update for ICU. Uh, first thing I want to mention is that we are going to begin employee screening at the beginning of our shift starting tonight. So at the beginning of your shift, please report to the day shift charge nurse. And in the drawer beside where the charge nurse sits, there is a thermometer. We need to check our temperature. Please clean it between just in case somebody does have a fever. And um, if you have a temperature of 100.4 or greater, um, we will need to send you home. There's a little log to sign. You'll see it when you get here. So just be on the lookout for that. Something else to be aware of, our purple top wipes are going to be difficult for us to get moving forward. So please use them sparingly. We have put gray top wipes out there and the gray top wipes will also kill coronavirus. However, if you have a patient who is on crown precautions, please use the purple tops for those patients. And then we'll use the gray tops for everything else. It still kills them, but the purple tops work a little better. So just be, I mean, we need to clean everything, but just don't be wasteful of the wipes. And then just a reminder, there's that attestation in Methodist University to please complete. It literally takes a minute. It just says that you agree that you will notify your manager, me, or and employee health uh, if you have any symptoms. And then throughout the shift, if we're canceling or pushing back a staff, uh, a staff member, please call the house supervisor and let them know because there is a lot going on around the hospital, going on around the hospital, and they might be needed elsewhere. So please just make sure that you're notifying the house supervisor before you either cancel or push somebody back or before you send somebody home. And then finally, one other important thing to be aware of, because there's potential that a code blue could be called on the floor and then you will have show up and find that it's a crown precaution room. Uh, we've put together a little kit to be prepared for that. I'm gonna go over the kit with you. So uh, remember when we're coding patients who are on crown precautions, we need to treat it as much like an airborne uh, precaution situation as possible. And so I'm gonna just show you the kit that we have made. This kit uh, comes in one of these patient belonging bags. It's labeled crown and it includes um, the Ambu bag with two added filters to it. So it has this blue filter and this green filter and these are both viral um, filters that will help to reduce uh, virus from escaping into the air if a patient is positive. We're putting two of these N95 masks. They're just regular size because that's the most common one for everyone. Um, and there should be uh, N95 masks and all PPE available close to the room of a crown precaution patient. However, we're putting two in just in case you get there and you have a difficult time finding it. At least we can get two more people into the room. Remember, do not go into these rooms without the proper PPE, even in an emergency. We're including one set of goggles. This is mainly for the intensivist who's gonna have their uh, face right up to the patient potentially intubating them. And we're including, this is a pillowcase because we need to drape that over the face of the patient um, during a code. And then an LMA, because this is considered um, best practice is to use this until you're all set and ready to intubate. And then this is in this patient belonging bag and we have one by the iStat machine. So charge nurses, when you go to codes, please um, bring grab this bag, it's right by the iStat. That's all that I have. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me and we'll just keep going with this. Thanks everyone.